Well, our Baltimore Ravens got some bad but not surprising news and that was when Rashad Bateman and Odell Beckham Jr. were officially ruled out today. Um, I know for Rashad Bateman, nobody was thinking that he was going to play, but I know for a lot of people, Odell Beckham Jr., a lot of people thought that he was going to possibly play in this game. And what's been weird about Odell Beckham Jr., um, Harbaugh described his injury status as minor, but then even Ian Rappaport, the day where he got injured in that Bengals game, Ian Rappaport reported that same exact date. He said with Odell Beckham Jr., he was just dealing with an ankle injury, but it's not serious and it's not something that's expected to keep him out of any games and everything should just continue as normal. That was pretty much paraphrasing what Ian Rappaport said the same day Odell Beckham Jr. came out of that Bengals game. And we haven't seen Odell Beckham Jr. since. So it's weird, man. Uh, again, Ravens with these injuries has just been very unfortunate. But us Ravens fans, it, we're used to it, but we shouldn't be used to this. Nobody should be used to this. No NFL team should be used to this, in my opinion. But it is who the Ravens are. They are a very injury plagued team year in, year out, week in, week out, season in, season out. They always face a lot of injuries. Um, so it just it makes a lot of stuff harder than it should be. Uh, but it is what it is. So they just got to deal with it. Um, with Rashad Bateman, it's it's tough, man. It's been a lot of discourse about Rashad Bateman, especially uh, over the past couple of months and whatnot, even before the season started. And it's not off to the best start for him. But um, one thing that we can say is it's not about how you start. It's how you finish. So Rashad Bateman, hey, we said you wide receiver one. Lamar said you wide receiver one, too. I think his word holds a little more weight than ours does when it comes to who wide receiver one is. Um, so he's still got plenty of opportunity to prove it uh, once he gets back on the field. So we're looking forward to seeing him now um, with Gus Edwards, full participant. Great. Amazing. So he's good to go for Sunday. Kyle Hamilton, he had missed practice earlier this week, but then he came back. So he's good to go for Sunday. Justice Hill, um, he started off slow this week. Wasn't even really practicing. Was off to the side. But then he pra he was limited yesterday. But then today he was a full participant. So Justice Hill should be back. So all running back depth getting a little, getting a lot better. Like right away. Uh, Marlon Humphrey out. No no surprises there. Uh, Tyler Linderbaum is questionable because he's been limited all week in practice. So he's questionable. So we'll see. But with Ronnie Stanley, Ronnie Stanley was another one where we got bad news because uh, he was limited the previous two days. Uh, and then today he did not practice. Um, so he is listed as doubtful. So they are not expecting him to play. There is a small 25 percent chance that he will play. But like I've been saying all week, as soon as they showed Ronnie Stanley back and he had on them camo fatigue shorts. I said, nope, mm -mm, ain't happening because whenever he wears, he wears those when he first comes back from injury every time and he does not play right away. So with Ronnie Stanley, it was never my expectation that he played in this game. Uh, nice that he's back at practice, but him playing in this game, I just thought that was far fetched. Uh, but we'll see because, again, he's not ruled out, but he ain't ruled in either. So we'll see about that. And Marcus Williams, Marcus Williams, uh, which is nice. Uh, he again, we, we talked about this earlier today. Wednesday, limited, but then Thursday and Friday, he practiced in full. So that's a good thing. And we know practice on Fridays is it's pretty much a little, sort of a, a walkthrough almost. It's not real physical like the regular practices and whatnot. Um, but the fact that he's a full participant, that's, like we mentioned earlier, it's looking like he is going to be good to go. And Ravens need all the reinforcements that they could use against these Cleveland Browns. But these Cleveland Browns, they could possibly maybe need some reinforcements too. Deshaun Watson. In the game last week against those Tennessee Titans where the Browns, they whooped, what was the score, like 27-3 or something ugly, 27-3, 29-3, something ugly to three. It was a nasty game, well, at least for the Titans. The Browns, they all smiles. Um, but Deshaun Watson on a play in the red zone where he took off. Deshaun Watson was running, 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 and then he thought he was Derrick Henry because he tried to drop a shoulder, went head up with one of the Titans players, and boom! They collided, and Deshaun Watson ain't been the same since. And they have said that uh, Deshaun Watson has been limited uh, the past couple of days in practice with a shoulder injury. Uh, so that is significant. He is expected to play. He's going to play. Deshaun Watson is going to play. But that is something to keep an eye on. Um, because if he takes the wrong hit, Deshaun Watson could possibly be out the game. Now, the Browns, who and they have certainly expressed their confidence in him, their backup, BTR. Uh, who was doing his thing in the preseason And we know it's the preseason Gotta keep that in mind uh, But still, they, that's why they gave, they gave Josh Dobbs away to the Cardinals They were like, you know what, we're gonna roll with him So just in case anything happened to Deshaun Watson We're we rolling with the young gun 
So we'll see what happens if he ends up having to get in the game because Deshaun Watson can't finish. Or if Deshaun Watson just goes out there and, and, and battles with his shoulder injury. Uh, a lot of that is still to be determined. Um, now with the wide receivers, uh, remember, uh, Tylen Wallace is on injury reserve. And of course, Odell Beckham Jr. and Rashad Bateman, they are both out. So Raven starter, Zay Flowers. Uh, as if enough wasn't on Zay Flowers' shoulders already. From every, all the passes that be going his way, all the, the, the reverses and the handoffs, the, all that stuff that be going his way, as if enough wasn't on his shoulders already, now he's going to be a focal point. Him and Nelson Aguilar and Devin DuVernay. Those are going to be our guys. Him, Nelson Aguilar, and Devin DuVernay. And what's crazy about this is that this season, going into this season, um, a, a lot of our biggest questions was injuries. Injuries. And I continue to say it like that is the Ravens' biggest enemy is injuries. And that would be the only thing that I think could hold this team back. Uh, but specifically with the wide receiver department, um, Rashad Bateman and Odell Beckham Jr., they have both faced injuries throughout their uh, entire NFL careers. Of course, Rashad Bateman's career is a lot shorter than Odell Beckham Jr. has been. Uh, but they both faced a lot of injuries. And it was not hoped for, but a lot of us with them being hurt is something that we're not surprised by. We still hate it for them. We, we hate that they are hurt. But this has been a story in both of their careers. I was hoping that this would be the year that they both stayed healthy. Um, but unfortunately, it just hasn't been the case. Uh, but the Ravens, they did prepare for this with bringing in Nelson Aguilar and Devin DuVernay, retaining him and, and, and having uh, drafting Zay Flowers as well. So it's now it's time for the Ravens to step up with the guys who are absent right now until they come back. Uh, Mark Andrews, I'm sure a lot more uh, attention will be going his way uh, from Lamar Jackson since those other guys are out. I mean, he, Mark Andrews is going to be fighting with Zay Flowers for attention because, you know, Lamar, boy, he, he locked on Zay, man. That, that's his guy, man. And, I mean, when you see Zay with the ball in his hands, you can see why. But Mark Andrews, um, I would expect him, especially against Cleveland. Like, this is Mark Andrews' type of game right here against the Cleveland Browns. This is what he just does. Uh, so I would expect him to just be better this week, be more involved this week. Uh, for the Baltimore Ravens offense. But this is going to be a, a really, really tough game. And But the Baltimore Ravens, they have a lot, a uh, lot riding on this game. Now, it is still early in the season. Uh, but still, this is a very important game. It's an AFC North game. It's a division game. It, it is an away game. So you're going to have to play these guys again. And you're going to have to play the Steelers again too. But both of these games, the next two weeks are away. When you play these dudes again, it's going to be at the crib. So what better way to sneak and right now, yeah, I, I would call it, a, if the Ravens win on Sunday, I would call it a sneak win. I really would. Um, because while the, the game could obviously go either way, I, I, don't, I feel like neither team should be favored too much. I, and I think it's going to be an extremely close game, very ugly game. But hey, Ravens, if you want to surprise me and make you pretty and just take off, no problem. I ain't going to complain. Um, but I feel like this could be a very, very ugly one. But if Ravens could sneak away with a win, uh, this Sunday against the Browns Hey, and even a win uh, Next Sunday against the Steelers Ravens, hey, be my guest 